and welcome to PNG Technologies. We are a supplier of custom natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing the new version. This is the Westinghouse. This is the Wingen 20,000 watt uh, running, 28,000 starting. This is a big unit. It's a nice unit. We got a real nice custom kit on it. Um, we'll go ahead and get started on this and show you uh, how to convert this thing over to an alternative fuel. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and mount the regulator. This will all be custom built for you, so you won't have to put any of this together here. We'll have it all assembled for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount it off the bracket here so there's no drilling of the frame or anything on this. So we'll go ahead and show you that and we'll get started on that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is there's these two. You have one here and then one on this back side. They're 8 millimeter. You just got to loosen them up. Um, I didn't have to take everything apart. Just go ahead. You want to loosen this up because it kind of pulls the battery back. Just kind of loosen that. Loosen this one. These two you're going to take completely out. Okay, we got one more back here. We're going to use these existing bolts too. They go right back in here. So we're just going to take it, feed the bolt through. Get that one started. This one. All right. Go ahead and tighten these right down. And then we got the one on the other side. Go ahead and tighten that one back down. That's easy. That's what makes it nice about having a custom kit. You're not trying to figure out where to do anything. And it's all set up for you. I mean, that was literally not even five minutes. So we'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, first we have to remove the gasoline tank. Now this is just held on by four bolts on each corner. And then first what we got to do is come in here and we need to remove the gas line. Okay, so you're going to remove that. And then you'll come over here and just pull the vent hose off. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now we'll go ahead and remove the four bolts so we can pull the tank off. These are eight millimeter on here. Okay. Get these. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and pull the tank right off. And lace and light, obviously, if you got gas, you gotta drain it, but this is a brand new unit, so. Put that to the side. Now we've got access to the air cleaner here, and we'll show you the next steps on that. Okay, now it makes it real easy to do this. This is as simple as that down there, too, really. It's not bad. Just unclip these. Oh, popped off there. Pop that back on. Take the air cleaner off here. Set that to the side. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them here that we're going to remove. Okay, let's go ahead. These are tens. Okay, let me get a ten here real quick. Okay. Go ahead and remove these. Grab these so you don't drop them down in there. It's not going to go in because it's choked closed, but just in case. Go ahead and set that to the side. And then we can just pull this cover right off now. 
Okay. Now we've got access to that. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got access to this, this is gonna be your adapter here, okay? We'll have all this pre-assembled for you here. The only thing we don't put on is just this hose here. You could clamp it on, it'll come with all the clamps and everything. So this is a real nice setup. So you're just gonna tuck this back down here, okay? And this just slides over, that simple. Go ahead and put this back. Now, obviously we're spacing this up, so we're gonna put spacers on it. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna supply you new hardware for these, because everything kind of extended up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get those started. There we go. The next one going here again watch your washers and stuff it's it's not going to fall down in there because the choke is closed but why take the chance okay we're going to leave everything loose because we got to install the spacers between here and where the last uh ones were so we'll give you new hardware for that too so go ahead and then you're going to have to just feed the spacer between it Okay, and then just start it a little bit. I just get them going. I keep everything loose. Okay, same thing over here. All sides, obviously. Okay, and then two more in the front. And the front ones, the uh, where these screw into, they're like little slotted nuts, so you can move them if it moves on you a little bit. So everything's lining up here pretty good so far. Okay, that one didn't start. You may have to move it. Okay, now you, th you don't have to over tighten any of this. Just give them a little snug. You know, it just keeps everything back the way it was. Nice installation. Very, very easy. Go ahead and get our cover back on. Our air cleaner filter I mean that's nice and simple go ahead and get this on that's it now we'll go ahead and put the gas tank on and we'll show you how to run this thing now we'll go ahead and get the gas tank back on. Now when you put that gas hose back on the bottom, I don't do it when I put it on. It's a little easier just to slide it up on here. Bring your clamp up. Just line your holes all up. Just walk around it. Make sure they're all nice and lined up. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and mount this back down. I mean, this is probably, honestly, one of the easiest. And again, when I say that, it's because the kit's custom, you know, and the adapter's the big thing coming up with that. So, I mean, that finishes that installation. Hook this last hose up over here, your breather hose. And that finishes this job up. Now, next step, we'll go ahead and show you We'll get her running for you. Okay, our last step here. We're just going to hook up the hose that we hooked up to the adapter to the regulator. Let's go ahead and slide that on there. Get our hose clamp around. 
and then we'll go ahead and hook up. We're going to hook run propane on it, and then we'll show you the natural gas steps on it. So that takes care of that. Okay, now we'll hook our propane up. Now, we offer this kit a couple different ways on the propane. You can get the quick connects here. That'll be available, or you can have this style here, which is the screw on. The quick connects are nice. It's just a fast little thing, less wrenches. We'll go ahead and hook it up to the... Now, this large of a unit, this is purely for test. You definitely need a 100-pounder for this. You could use a 20-pounder in an emergency situation, but after about an hour, it's going to freeze this tank up, and you'll lose the power. It won't run. So let's go ahead and tighten this down. And what I do is shut the ball valve off up here first. Go ahead and turn your tank on. Turn your tanks on slow. A lot of people just turn them on, but you'll get a check in it. You don't want that. Once it does that, go ahead and do that. Now, there's a fuel shutoff valve on the front of this, so make sure your gasoline is shut off. Okay, turn your propane on. Now, go ahead and turn this on. Now, this is an adjustment on here. In is lean, out is rich. We already preset them, so you shouldn't have to mess with it. You might have to adjust a little bit, but that's it's not hard to do. So on the back of this, there's a primer button. Hit it for one or two seconds. You'll hear the fuel. Okay. Go ahead and turn her on. Hit start. And I hit that button again just to try to keep it going. Go ahead and start it again. Keep your finger on that button. It's a little delay in start, but. Okay, see, sometimes they can be stubborn. Here's the fuel. That delay gets you sometimes. Okay, now that was the propane steps. For natural gas, if you buy the hose from us, you'll get the mail that'll go into here, okay? And then our hose has the quick connects that are open orifice. They're not closed. They're designed for combustionable engines, not a grill. So then you'll get another one of these for the other side going to your meter. So that's the natural gas steps. Everything else, as far as the installation, is the same, identical. All right. That was a very, very simple job to do and a very, very nice generator with a ton of power. Again, this is the Westinghouse WGen 20,000 watt running, 28,000 watt starting. Um, if you're interested in this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you do like it, please hit the like button. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.